Scorpio! What's going on, baby? It is me, Ren. It is she, Ren. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again for the new year. Happy New Year, you guys! We have made it to 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed and has clicked this video at any point in time, you know? So shout out to every last one of my babies that have stepped through. So, um, if anyone would like to connect with me for a personal or private reading, go ahead and click the description box of this video or click the about, also known the bio tab, for my YouTube page and you can connect with me on Instagram for a video reading if you do not have Instagram or you choose not to use Instagram just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com I'll get you all connected on Google Hangouts it's a quick and easy app that you can download only thing we need to exchange is our email to be able to have um, video communication with each other so again I want to say thank you to everyone for all the love and support that y'all have given throughout 2020 man like y'all have just like blessed me tremendously I'm so thankful for just like good fellowship man you guys are freaking amazing so thank you guys for all of the love and all of the uh support to my page through the Amazon wish list we got new deck today uh, we got two new decks today, um, the Edgar Allan Poe, Tarot, and Carter Mancy deck that we're going to be using. So, again, that came the tail end of December. So, again, thank you guys for all the love and support to my page. And, you know, before we get into anything, we're going to give Father God his acknowledgement. Yes, and, and just thank him for all of the forward blessings and the continual blessings that he has given to us every day of our life. So, bow your heads with me for a second. Father God, we thank you. Thank you so much for the creation of a life. We thank you so much for just the blessing of earth, air, fire, and water. We thank you for all of the elements. We thank you so much for the spiritual power of just love and just the gift of us being united as one, just coming collectively to just help take care and nurture each other and just to heal each other through our process father god because we are just here you know uh we're not perfect but we're here for betterment father god and we thank you so much for shedding a light on our purpose father god you know we we definitely know that we're worth it we know that we're worth every single blessing that's been put on our table we had to fight for it all nothing came easy we are known warriors known warriors and people respect that about us. And we're going to continue to keep our head up and make better choices and respect ourselves. Because, Father God, this table is plentiful, Father God, that you placed before us. And we can't do nothing but thank you. It's all because of you, Father God. No one else can put their name on that but you, Father God. You and, you and us. You know, so... Father God, continue to just give us the wisdom and the guidance that we need, you know. Um, keep your steady hand on us, Father God. We're so gracious and grateful for your love. Please give us the guidance that we need today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, Scorpio. Let's get into this. So, we got this Edgar Allan Poe deck. Let's get into this here. Let's see what we get. Give me guidance for Scorpio for January 2021. Give me three cards for Scorpio. Thank you so much. Let me see three cards for Scorpio. Alright. Okay. Three cards for Scorpio, please. January 2021. Alright. Got the Page of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. They're rejecting offers at this time. Is that what we're doing, Scorpio? I don't blame me because I ain't seen nothing I want neither. The four cups in reverse. It's like I ain't rejecting no offers. I just ain't seen nothing that I wanted at this, <laughs> at this time. Like I'm sober. I'm happy now. Like I'm in the best place that I could be in my life. It's just the things that I used to be attracted to. I'm just not attracted to it anymore. So just waiting for something different to come my way other than that like I'm good like you know have you ever been in a place in your life where 
you're good. Like maybe in the past you used to trip on like your phone being lit up with a whole bunch of people trying to holler at you, going on dates and, you know, having a few options and everybody knocking down your door. Like right now, if it's quiet right now, it's like I'm not even tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just so happy and fulfilled on everything that I'm doing and I just have a different commitment to life, you know? So, like, this card to me means, um, because, like, when you look at this card, this four of cups, you see how this person is, like, talking about their failures or something or their worries with a therapist. It's like, they feel like a lot of opportunities just keep passing them by and they just feel like, you know, the cup is always half empty instead of half full and you know you just trying to make your way like you don't have any it's like you're so positive like you don't feel like you're at a loss for anything for anything like you have I want to say like cleaned up the filth almost what is this you got the devil in the reverse so, again, like, I feel like it's someone that was uh, fighting some type of addiction or toxicity because, you know, like, the four cups in the reverse can mean someone battling some type of addiction, like, overuse of, ooh, someone just said overuse of prescription pills, Lord Jesus. It's like someone has some type of prescription pill addiction. I know they ain't got nothing to do with me, honey, child. No, ma'am. I don't even play like that, honey. Shit, I might smoke a little weed. That's about it, Shell. Have me a little shot of some Hennessy, baby. That's about all I'm about to do, honey. You can y'all can have all that. <laughs> y'all can have all that other shit. Hell fucking no. Now, ain't, like y'all ain't about to have that opiate addiction monkey on my back. Fuck no. And I pray for anybody going through that shit. And if this is y'all, I definitely see y'all fighting like shit to get that monkey up off your back. You like shit. If I had to go through counseling, I already did that. Like I feel like I have the strength now where I can bypass the devil and I can look him straight in his face and tell him, fuck you. Like, you ain't got no hold over me no more. I'm fucking good. Like, I'm sober. You know what I'm saying? Like, sober. It's like someone went through a process of, like, going through some type of grief and seeing a lot of shit bypass him and miss him and life for them to wake up and just, like, I don't want to do this shit no more. I don't want to hang around the people that I used to hang around no more. I don't want to drink no more. I don't want to smile. I don't need none of that stuff. Like, I think I speak and I operate a lot more stable when I commit myself to just being more healthy and sober-minded and committing myself to just the practice of self-love. Like, making sure that I'm eating right. Making sure I'm getting the appropriate amount of sleep. Like, it's like a lot of the things that used to be burdening me and I used to be depressed about. Number one, I eat like trash. I eat a bunch of fast food, a whole bunch of candy and junk. And then you wonder why you're always stressed and you always worried about shit. And your thoughts are not being processed the right way. You're always thinking negative. Look at what you're doing. You're not controlling. You're not using your body. Your body is a tool. Like if you put a whole bunch of trash ass low grade gas and stuff in a new model car eventually it's going to start running shitty because you're not putting quality shit in your vehicle you know what i'm saying so it's like you might have woke up to that now it was certain shit that you were feeding to yourself that you were doing which was why things were bypassing you it's like i had to sober up i had to wake up i had to get that monkey off my back i had to release that shit so I could look the devil in his face and tell him, fuck you. Go find another victim. I'm not your victim. And I ain't never been your victim. I did what I wanted to do because I wanted to do it. And when I ain't wanted to do it, I don't want to fucking do it no more. You can't tempt me with shit. Okay? The fuck? Okay? The hell? So whatever it was, like, I don't even want it no more. So, like, I understand why it's like you don't want whatever it is no more. It's like I've grown up. You got to come with a better offer than that. It's not, that's not the type of communication that I'm used to at this point. I, I'm, um, mm -mm. I need, like, if anything, you need to come to me with a knight. Better yet, a king. Like, I, I don't need nothing at, at no page. I don't want no page. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you need to talk to me with some maturity and with some respect. You know, it's like, um, maybe the reason why you were getting a type of advances is like, 
you needed to level up. Like, I don't want to deal with no little ass boys and no little ass girls or people with a petty ass communication. I want something to pull up on me like a fucking knight in shining armor. Like, you know, fuck all these text messages and, and, and voice messages and Facebook texts and like, fuck all that shit. Like, nah, you like me like that? Yeah. I need some action. I, I like pull up. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let me know that shit like for real on a real level. Look, you got the definite reverse. So again, the definite reverse is like, like it's like I I feel like it's like you're no longer um crying over or regretting the situation no more. I think you you, you see it clearly because you are on the other side of the fence now. Like you know. When it's like a fresh death, something that you really had to let go, that shit hurt. Like, it still plague you in your mind and your body and your soul for like a long time until it's like you understand. And it brought more character to you. You got so much more strength. You were able to um, grow from releasing, you know? Like, you could look back at the situation with love and understand what it was supposed to do in your life. Like, you don't fret, you don't cringe at the memory no more. It don't trigger you. It don't harm you. Like, you look back at it with a whole totally different standpoint now. It's like, man, that, that was a point in my life where I was suffering through pain. I was suffering through addiction. I was going through a whole lot of stuff in my life. You know, I had to kill and get rid of that person who I used to be so I could come out the other side refreshed and brand new somebody that you never even seen before so nah i'm not i'm not connected like you might not even be connected with the old an old lifestyle and then this is the five of wands in the reverse so again it's like resisting the temptation resisting the urge to compete to fight it's like i don't want to be a fighter no more i don't want to be in the midst of all the drama i don't want to be caught up and being a slave to feeling like I got to battle my inner ego because someone said they could do something better than me or someone is cheating on me with that person and I, I but I was there first and or you know someone tried to take this from me man let them have that shit like you can't even catch me off guard no more you know what I'm saying because I see you from afar I see you from a far distance. I see the whole situation differently no more. I, 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 know, I know how to avoid certain things now. So it's like I'm projecting a lot of things in my life. It's like the whole bunch. The whole bunch. It's like a whole bunch of people. You could have gathered them up, roped them, everybody, roped them all up with the intentions to throw them the fuck away because I don't want nothing to do with y'all no more. This is a nuisance. This is nonsense. As no point in my life right now so again this is like rejecting calls rejecting communication not sending loving messages like you not being the person that you used to anymore you sobered up it's like you sober up you woke up you realize how toxic toxic certain people and certain things was and it's like I want better for myself I don't want to fight no more I'm not fighting with myself no more. I'm healed. I'm over it. I've been resurrected. New life, new day. Give me guidance for Scorpio. Yeah. You got the two of diamonds. Okay. Yeah, some mental health time. Come on. Come on, Scorpio. So listen. The two of diamonds right here, this is basically saying that you're getting like other offers. Other, what is this saying? Evil is the consequence of good. So in fact, out of joy, sorrow is born. This is like some real. Anyway, I think Alipotis was a very, <laughs> very interesting guy. But evil is the consequences of good and you know when I at the last time I seen this card it's like have you ever had a good idea or good intentions and you try to communicate with people and bring people into something that was good and it backfired on you and then it turned you to a different person you know what I'm saying so 
that's kind of what I'm getting what happened here. It was like something that was good. It, tur it, it, it turned out to be a bad situation. It turned you into a bad person. And it's like you're finally at this point in your life where you are regaining your strength and getting back to who you, not even who you used to be. You know what I'm saying? Because who you used to be was susceptible to this type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? Who you are now is something that is far beyond that. Could someone who could coach people about these lessons. This is an open door, an invitation, communication, new opportunities here, choices, different standards. One says a different quality because it's a diamond. You had to go through so much work in your life to produce a diamond. You had to go through the whole series of clubs just to get one diamond. You have two. You have two. And not only that, that is giving me balance here because you understand good versus evil. You understand right versus wrong. You understand how sometimes... You could just go into a situation and negotiate with someone to do some business or something that should be lucrative and then it could blow up in your face if you're not around the right type of people. Hmm? They'll put you in a whole bunch of bullshit, a whole bunch of petty ass competition. They'll introduce you to drugs or, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck. You gotta be around the right people. The right people. To make the right choices. So this is a lot of opportunities here. The Ten of Clubs, like I told you. This is something where you're going to have a win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You were set up to win. I'm going to tell you something here. That's why you had to take that time out here. To get your mental health together. So that's why I'm saying. You might have on your own decided that. Listen. There's something missing. In my life. I'm not satisfied with. The regular rigmarole. Sitting around, hanging with my friends, smoking weed, not really doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Fucking bitches, making music, partying, gambling, all that low life bullshit. Whatever the fuck it could have been. It could have been anything. Like, whatever this is that you would have needed to talk about, just add that shit into that picture. Right? I'm seeing sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The lifestyle. Hmm? You on your own terms decided you were tired of it. You needed a break. And you needed to talk to someone. And you weren't scared to do it. You wasn't scared to help yourself. You could probably write a self-help book right now. To how to beat and look the devil in the face. You got to look him in the face. That's the things that motherfuckers don't understand about Scorpio. Scorpio is not scared to do that. It may take us some time. But we will look that motherfucker. We will look at our own fucking weakness in the face. And you know whatever your weakness is. And you'll look at it and say I'm not going to be your bitch no more. I'm going to defeat you. And you can and you will. And that's exactly what you did. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I don't even know that person no more. I don't know that person no more. I don't know these people no more. You can't even include me into this bunch no more. Period. You had to do that shit for yourself. That's what that four goddamn. That four of spades is like someone slowing down, getting their mind together. And then as you can see, eight of diamonds is a caution. It's like. Paying attention to your finances, what you're doing with your money, how, making your next move your best move because at the end of the day, I want to say someone took a gamble, took a risk on their self for betterment to take other opportunities that would further their self and they, want, they jumped right into a win. And as soon as they did that, they said, hold on. Let me take some time out and balance my finances, balance my books. Let me continue to spend time to myself in seclusion because I'm winning. It's like when I spend time to myself, I'm fucking winning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I got enough time to sit back and think and balance shit out. I got to balance shit out. I got to balance my behavior too. It's like someone taking the time out to get their finances together, to get their life together. Let me give you some clarifications real quick. 
So we got the two of diamonds right here. The two of diamonds mean intellectual exchanges, financial partnerships, a small money card, a payment made or received, written correspondence, financial news, a bill, a statement, insurance paper, a written report, independence, fertile imagination, a writer, a journalist, financial help or loan, the stomach, the food, kitchen. All right. So uh, let me see. The Ten of Cubs means ambition, achievement, success in business, social prominence. This card means career. It can represent a specific business or it can denote the idea of business or commerce in general sense. It also is a card of movement, of travel. It could refer to a journey, more specifically a trip or business, um, a business move such as uh, a business transaction or a business gamble. Remember I said something about someone taking a gamble? Or the actual change of business ownership or location, it could refer to fluid funds. When this card is here, it denotes a trip. Usually over water, it can represent a body of water in any and all forms. Water pipes, swimming, pool, bathtub, washing machine, even the kitchen sink. This is travel. I like that. I like that. The four spades, again, this is like time out, like for mental health. It means illness, recuperation, the need of caution, the sick bed, hospital room, the coffin, the jail cell, rest, confinement, exhaustion, the need to take movements at a slower pace, bedridden, feeling fenced in, staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, sick and tired. So again, remember I told you like someone was sick and tired or something. They went through this. They went through this. They went through it up here. That's why it's like, now that this communication, this aid, this help has been coming in, this money and things is coming in, all of this good shit, you like, hold on, let me slow down. Let me just not be out here doing dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? Because illness to me means mental health, acting like I'm fucking crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let me take some time out in my house, in my room, and figure shit out. And again, this is like cautioning your money. Because again, as quickly as it comes in, it could go right the fuck out the door. So it's like having respect for your fucking money, okay? So this is... The Eight of Diamonds. The Eight of Diamonds means caution, careful planning, balancing the books, financial restrictions. You see what I'm saying? You're getting, you just got a blessing. You could have ended up just putting a property or business or something in your name. You know? Like seriously, you had the chance to move, have a brand new opportunity. This is like communication coming in. It's like your chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to fuck this shit up. I got to be my mental health. All of that shit got to be good. I got to be good. You understand? So let me take some time out and, and think and, and pay attention. It says caution, careful planning, balancing the book, financial restrictions, the need to curtail spending, the ups and downs of money management, cycling money, tax planning, y'all know it's about to be tax season, number crunching, numbers counting, a person wearing glasses, watchfulness, the eyes, watching your money, you understand, watching your steps, careful planning, patience, patience my friend, I'm serious. It's like taking some time to yourself and just taking some time to yourself to watch the blessings just come around you. And again, it's like sage your, sage your, sage your four walls, you guys. Sage y'all's walls, your workspace and stuff. Open up the windows every time, especially if you're indoors and you're working. Make sure that you open the windows, get a whole bunch of natural light. I don't even give a fuck if it's raining outside. Experience that because I love when it's raining. It brings me so much peace. I love the sound of it. It is, just makes it so mellow. I need you guys to like... Open up them doors. Open up them windows. I know it's winter and stuff like that right now. But 
I still be doing it, so that I guess you know what I'm. You got the clinging ivy. You got smoke visions. You got the pink in the reverse. So this is love again. This is like y'all rejecting love. What's going on with that? You got the eggs incubation. Something is going on with you guys in regards to um it's like you guys got some cleaning sensation and some shit is like cooking for you. Like y'all been having like you guys are like psychic or something. It's like something is growing around you. You see how like that ivy is clinging on that oak tree and it's just growing up. It's like something's clinging around you. This incubation with these eggs. It's like a fertile mind. Smoke with these visions. Like you guys, like I said, y'all might be smokers or something. I don't know if you smoke or you can see through the smoke and mirrors or something. I'm serious. It's like someone be seeing some type of visions or something. It's like you can see some shit without it even happening already. So it's something that is about to hit you. But I don't even think you about to be surprised about it. It's like you have some type of psychic mind. It's like you know some shit is about to happen. And again it has something to do with fucking money. It has something to do with money. You guys could be saying some like type of mantra. Like money clings to me. Money, every everything I put in my bank account grows in abundance and harmony. Like you could be saying something to like I'ma be a millionaire. I'm a. It's like some type of self affirmating mantra that is bringing something to life, and that's why you've been sobering up. Like that's why you've been focusing on your finances. You've been balancing your books. You've been taking time to yourself to get your mind together and make sure that you're in peace. You're taking care of your body, your mind, your health, like all of that shit. You're not focusing on love right now. That shit is a distraction. It's a distraction. That's how you feel. What is this? The bread. I'm serious. Hospitality. You guys are focusing on your bed and being hospitable and just nurturing. You guys are focused on eating right now. I'm so serious. This this reading has a lot to do with more with like mature maturity and finances. It's not about love. It's not about love. It's like y'all feel like love is a distraction at this moment. It's like you're trying to pay attention to your dreams and the visions that you got. It's like these visions, it's like something is clinging to you. It's like God is clinging to you right now because it's like he's pushing you on the other side of the door. Like, do y'all get me? It's like you almost there. It's like you can see this shit. You can see it with that smoke, them visions and shit. Them eggs, it's like the best eggs. It's like, I don't know if y'all got like a few nest eggs set away y'all got some money set sitting somewhere like do y'all got some bread sitting somewhere scorpio because it's like your hospitality your givingness like you are like the shit in some type of way like clarify this for scorpio please and I, I feel like you're making a lot of new connections. It's because you lost the weight, all that other bullshit. It's like you're making new connections that is like changing your life. And you are being so hospitable. Whatever to all these new visions is, these it's like you're counting your blessings. What is this? The Ace of Cups in the reverse. Again, it's like, what is this about love? It's, it's like y'all are missing love, though. It's like y'all are missing love, though. I, it's just like hitting me. It's like, damn. Y'all just said trying to follow in the footsteps of other people. It's like I keep missing love. It's like I'm not being myself. Um, y'all saying you y'all were paying attention to what other people was doing. And it's like you just kept missing out. And... It's like y'all try y'all y'all want to do something a different way this time. It's why it's like I don't wanna. It's like I really feel like y'all just trying to be to yourself. Like y'all really focusing on your dreams, focusing on your vision, how you see your life being, 
opening yourself up to a lot of opportunities. It's like y'all got to see this happen. You got to see this coming to fruition first. And it's like I know the love is going to come to me. But I feel like y'all miss it so much. But it's like I can't focus on this shit right now because it's a distraction. It's a distraction. But y'all want that shit so much. Y I know that shit. Because I know my Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio. And I'm not focused on love at all. But I do think about it sometimes. But not about it that much. Because every time I put me personally. I put my focus on that. It just leads me in another direction. And, and, and I be having so much going for myself. And it's like when I focus on when I focus on my destiny, I'm able to make some major footprints. You know, have y'all ever, um, and this is talking to myself and me talking to y'all too, because, um, have you ever felt like literally, you know who you are, but when you fall in love with someone, it's like you completely forget about what you were doing. What you were working on. It's like your whole life is surrounded by this person and these feelings of. And it's like you, you forget what you were planning. What was growing. You go back and look at your. You might not go back and look at your props until that shit starts to water down and don't feel the same no more. Then you try to remember and you're like, oh, all my shit is rotten and it's gone. Mm -hmm. and I got to start all over. It's like that's what, what it is. You got the moon, and then you got the eight of wands in the reverse. So the moon is like, again, it's like some type of confusion about why there isn't this on flux of communications in regards to like relationship and a lot of opportunities because you feel like you're so attractive. You got so much stuff going for you. It's like shit should be knocking your door down right now, but things have been a little bit quiet. Um, it seems like your target and your aim in regards to love, um, as it seems, it just hasn't been hitting. It hasn't been going. Like, when you take your mind off of that and you focus on your visions, it's like shit be popping. Things be growing, but this fucking love thing, it's like you can't figure it out. You can't figure it out. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, you know, so... I'm just following my intuition, doing my intuition is telling me is focus on what I know that I'm good at, when I'm focused on my business, when I'm focusing on my dreams, bringing my dreams into reality, I can make that happen. Seriously. But this love thing, I just, I don't know what to do with that. Like, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> like, literally, that's what it's called. I don't know what to do with love. Money. And all of that shit. And I feel like Scorpio had a struggle with that too. Because with this two of two of diamonds, it's like that shit, it's like it's just opening up. You know what I'm saying? Evil is the consequences of good. So it's like I, I don't like that. Like why the fuck would he write that? Like, uh Ugh. 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 It's, but it's a bad thing, like when you look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad thing because it may be hurting your own heart to turn your back on love, to focus on your dreams and your visions right now. But it's like, it's like that's what you got to do. Like, I, that's what I feel. Let me go ahead and first walk it up to me. Mmm. Ooh, Scorpio, like having to protect yourself. This is about protecting yourself. This is like your defense mechanism is it can help you or it can harm you in a way because this is like this this is the sign of Thor. You know, Thor's hammer the sledge. You know what I'm saying? This is about support, you know, your defense, your shield. Warding off evil, warding off bad energy, you know, a guardian, you know what I'm saying? This is connection with the gods. It's like, you know, uh, back up, uh, get away from me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this shit don't even make sense, like how heavily guarded and shielded and protected you are. Like, um, 
you guys are receiving the help and the protection that you need right now. You're going through some level of awakening. And that's why I feel like you might be walking away from everything you know. Because it's like you don't even want to know that shit no more. Uh, this right here, honestly, with this being faced out like this, this means someone feels like that they've had like a fall from grace. You know, um, felt, it's like some type of burnout, you know, like, did, like, life feels like real dull, you know, real dull, easy come, easy go. Like, you might have some communication coming, but it's, it, it'll seem like it's, it's, it, things are going good, but quickly you can see this shit will fade away or it's not, it's, it's stagnant or it's not long lasting. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You got to pay attention and you got to keep going. You got to war off like this means low self-esteem, low value as well. Like just not believing in yourself, like not fighting for your victory. So with this, this right here is saying like, especially in this thing with love and it's like the balance of the heart and the mind, like knowing that you deserve something. You got to continue to fight because even with that devil card right there, it's like you will believe that you can't do something, that you can't be something, that you're not powerful enough, that you can't fight off the, the, these addictions. You can't fight off these negative people. You can't walk away from your old lifestyle. You like you can motherfucking do that shit with this right here. This right here. You got that Thor sledgehammer. You hear me? You got it. You fucking got it. You got it. So, what I want you to do, what I want you to do is, like, take it and, like, I mean, back people up. Use your defense. Use your defense. Know that you're protected. Look the devil in the eye. Look the beast in the eye. Whenever you feel low, look that shit in the eye and be like, why? Because remember, there's a lot of mental health shit right here. This is the four of spades. And that's this right here, the four of cups right there. You got to know that you're deserving. And even if you don't understand right now why certain things right now in love is it coming around? It's because the steady focus and attention to love yourself and the focus on your fucking dreams. Because you need to be in full swing of that for this love to come into your life. I don't want any distractions right now, Scorpio. Like, I'm dead ass serious. You got to focus on your dreams. You got to make that happen first. Know who you are and stand firmly in that place first. So when whoever that love and all of that cup and everything, you can have that and you can include that to your life. You can't ever lose yourself in a relationship ever again, Scorpio. And that's the... That's why you're going through this. Because God wants you to see this through first. Because you put it aside and you've put it aside and you put it aside. Because you've had this as a distraction for so long. That's been your addiction. That's been your kryptonite. That's been your toxicity. Focusing on this where you forget your passion. You forget your blessings. You forget your gift. You forget your connection. The visionary that you are. God been clinging to your ass the whole motherfucking time. He said he going to see you through this shit. He going to see you through this shit. And you going to trust them visions. You going to trust your dreams. And you going to make your motherfucking dreams come true. You understand me? Listen. I know that little goddamn nest egg that you got there, Scorpio. I see it. You sitting back on a whole lot of motherfucking time. And a whole bunch of gifts. A whole bunch of shit that the world need to see. You need to feed the world with all of that amazing gifts that you are. It's time for you to glow up. It's time for you to blow up, Scorpio. All of this stuff, like I said, sometimes a lot of motherfucking good could come out of a bad situation. And sometimes trying to do something good can end out in a bad way. But pressure creates diamonds. It always fosters new opportunities. You understand? Every time, and I'm speaking for myself, every time the 
best opportunities come to me is when a bad I'm coming out of a bad situation. I had to sit my ass back and get myself focused. Regain my shit and open up the doors and the windows for blessed opportunities to come my way. I mean to be completely open for it. So yeah, not worried about love right now. I'm worried about dreams. Really taking our time, balancing that book, paying attention to your finances. Self-made millionaire shit. This will come later. It'll come later. First you clean slate. Now the blessings is coming in. The love is the final step. So Scorpio, this has been your reading. I love you. Thank you for loving yourself. Hit that like button. Peace.